All right, uh, let's look at the practice exam three, problem number 11, part A. All right, so let's evaluate this uh, definite integral. All right, so first thing I would do is um, I'm going to split this um, integrand into two parts. All right, so first part is going to be uh, x over 2 square root of x. All right. So that can be written as, uh, so uh, 1 half is just a number, so I'll put that in front. All right, x divided by square root of x is going to be square root of x, so we can write it as x to the 1 half power. All right, then you have a negative sign, so you have a minus here, so uh, we took care of that. All right, then the second part is 1 over 2 square root of x. All right, so again, you have 1 half, it's just a number, so I put it here. So uh, since x is sitting on the bottom, so it's got to be a negative power, square root is equivalent to 1 half power. All right, so we have this integral, which is exactly the same as the original one. All right, after that, we can find the antiderivative using the um, power rule, All right? So 1 half is just a number, so I'll just put it here. All right, antiderivative of x to the 1 half power would be add 1 to the power, so it's going to be 3 halves. Divide by 3 halves is the same thing as multiply by 2 thirds. All right, minus 1 over 2. Then antiderivative of x to the negative 1 half would be add 1 to the power, so x to the 1 half power. Divide by 1 half is the same thing as multiply by 2. All right, then it goes from 1 to 4. All right, then we can clean up a little bit. Uh, so you have 2 on top and 2 on the bottom cancel out. 2 on top, 2 on the bottom cancel out. All right, so what you get is, all right, so if you plug in 4, so 1 half power is square root, so square root of 4 is 2. If you cube that, it's 8. Then you have 3 on the bottom, right? And uh, this is uh, 4, square root of 4 is 2, so it's minus 2. All right, minus, all right, plugging 1, uh, you're going to get, uh, let's see, 1 over 3. And square root of 1 is 1, so it's minus 1. All right, so you're going to get, uh, looks like, uh, let's see, 8 thirds minus 1 third is 7 third minus 2 plus 1, so eight th uh, seven, oh, sorry, 7 thirds minus 1 would be uh, 4 thirds, right? That's the value of this definite integral, right? That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.